Good morning. Oh, one like hell. Good morning, everyone. We were by far there, sent you over this class online, and here's a business card. Ooh. So, uh, we're setting up the Zoom real quick and uh, seeing this five minute coming into the 10 o'clock window here. We look overnight uh, here at midnight. We opened up. This was London. We traded back up into this five minute from yesterday's afternoon dump. 50% uh, in here. We wicked, um, but candle bodies respected that five minute fair value gap. If you see here across, if you're to measure this. Uh, so came in here, news took out some of these lows in here. We tapped into this five minute and bounced up. But uh, I think we're going to come back down, um, taking some of these, some of these uh, buyers out down here. So Let's measure. EP one. Yeah, it's like right there. He's 10, 12. We have news in three minutes. Uh, orange folder news. Hopefully this can continue down. Tapping into this one minute again here, or this five minute here. Three five open.
15. Well, stops at break even here. Might even cover the five. Could wick me out and then continue for sell side, but I'd rather take the, the 250. Be cool if we could use this as an inversion inverted pair value gap and drop below here respecting this there we go We do have this sell side though, so we'll watch price action and uh, we'll read it and see. I'm learning so much by watching. Thanks, Marcus. Is there audio? There should be. My mic's uh, showing that there was volume and stuff. So you could have stayed in this at break even, risk free, but um, rather take the profits there, at least at, at TP1, secure it because. This week's so volatile. I mean, yeah, even though it's only orange folder, if we go to uh, Forex Factory, I like to use Forex Factory. I've been using it for years since I got into trading. So um, you can filter for just uh, currencies, not USD. So let's see, Wednesday. 1015 FOMC news. It was just orange, but uh, not too bad. We have FOMC at two. But we could uh, just watch in to see uh, Oh, thanks, Davon. <laughs> Dude, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Get TP. A lot of times we get the bounce right before the gap closes near a date draw on liquidity. Yeah. I mean, this is this is probably just gonna respect this and drop. Um but I like this slow down here. Um honestly, yesterday what what I was looking for, uh I was able to snag this five minute drop in here in the afternoon. But uh, what I'm looking for is we had, uh, we still have this market maker cell model, right? So we have original consolidation down here. Then we had some uh, accumulation in here. We had smart money reversal up here.
some distribution. And we tapped back up in here. My guess is it's going to come back down probably towards these lows. It doesn't have to come all the way back down. Um, but what I was looking for yesterday, but we didn't get it in this move in the afternoon before the close, was if we measure this low yesterday to the high, uh, was back down in here. Maybe, what was I measuring? Maybe I was measuring... Is it there? I don't know. I had this as an alert. I'm trying to remember what I was measuring. Because if we, this is 50% back up to here, and then we drop back down. We're at equilibrium now, which is 50%. So, we haven't really broken this area. I'm looking for it to drop below here though. Um, original consolidation again is like in this area here. Right? We had this huge consolidation area where price was just bouncing around. So look at these equal lows down here. These are pretty clean. This is a two suspect, right? So I'm looking for price to come back down, um, not necessarily all in one day, but um, overall we'll come back down here. So on the daily, if we remember from, I think I posted it in the chat room on Sunday or Monday, I think it was Sunday, um, we were looking for price to uh, come up into this fair uh daily fair value gap which we did um we we didn't quite hit 50 percent of it yet on the one hour um this morning i had one hour uh buy side as these tops and then one hour sell side um down here so this low lower high on the one hour seek and destroy conditions today yeah for sure oh oh baby no i wasn't i wasn't using a a, a fib this is just my GAN box where I measure like uh, premium and discount. So like this, will have this green for discount to buy and then red, anything above 50% uh, here, red is like sells in a premium, buys in a discount, right? Price always likes to move from disc discount to a premium and then from a premium to a discount. So... Just like if you're buying a car, you want to get it for a good price, right? So I was pretty upset at my, uh, yeah, I was trying to remember what, why I had this level here for some reason. Uh, maybe it was 50% of this, this gap here or something, but I was pretty upset with myself yesterday because I did not hold on to my buys uh in here um when it started tapping this five minute um because and not i don't want to sound like uh ungrateful because i see t's the shit but i should not have listened to him <laughs> he was talking about some sell side down here and i knew we were going for this daily and we had this unicorn set up that was money. It was low, high, lower, low. This breaker. Then we had respected this small little one minute a bunch of times. So I was buying in here. And if I would have held on, sheesh. But uh, 
that's a lesson to y'all, you know, make, if you're very confident in whatever you're seeing, your analysis, stick to your analysis. doesn't matter what ICT says, doesn't matter what I say, what any, any other online traders say, like, or your buddies, like try not to let too much outside influence uh, mess up your analysis because, uh, you know, you, you got to give yourself um, the chance to be wrong and the chance to be right. Right, so we're respecting this this five minute. Yeah, see, Davon knows. He said, I never listen to that man when I'm trading. He's got me fried or stopped me from making money on strong setups. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder, like, is he just messing with us, like, to get us not to listen to him or something? Or, like, to, I don't know. You know what I mean? Kind of like reverse psychology. Because I feel like he's so smart. He would do so He would, like, do something like that, you know? But who knows? Who knows? So if you weren't listening to my rant and you were watching Price, <laughs> there's a nice five minute in there, uh, continuation. If you got in here with your stops at five, five points. Um, sell size there. Nice little one to six almost. It's this gap I'm watching here that we need to we need to come through. He has one million different setups, so he's probably looking at something different. Yeah. Yeah, very true, Brandon. Again, I am not complaining i'm not uh, by any means not uh bad mouthing him or at, at all it's more of like a psychology and uh trying to spread some wisdom um, so that you can gain more confidence in yourself um because believe it or not you, you might see something that's really really clear to you and he's seeing something else going for something else. And you guys can both, both be profitable, right? Doesn't mean either is wrong. Um, but I mean, sometimes ICT does get it wrong. It seems like every other week he finds some new, <laughs> I got to keep it simple. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. We're getting a lot of back and forth in here. We're down to the one minute. That's that five in there. So we did close below on the one minute here. Let's see what's over here. Yes, yeah, exactly. Keep it simple. Um, I would say the uh most of his concepts, even with whatever model you're trading, uh they kind of they're like uh 
puzzle pieces. A lot of them, once you start uh, training it for a while, like a year or so, you'll start to real you'll start to realize how they kind of go together, and you can use them. Like, uh, for example, the the market maker buy and sell models used to seem complicated to me, but they can help you. Uh, they can help you, especially if you're looking for silver bullet um, setups. Um, you can find it in the uh, accumulation phase, right? First leg, second leg. You can find it in the distribution leg, the afternoon. Um, things like that. So even here. Um, kind of thinking if you try to find the, the curve some district uh cum or yeah the consolidation or accumulation some distribution reaccumulation and then we have a reversal up here we had the first stage in here five minute this could be the second towards sell side down the original down below the original uh accumulation phase three drives into that top yeah definitely brandon made it simple yeah Yeah, I've sat through hours and hours and multiple notebooks of his stuff. But a lot of people, not not to knock anybody, but most people cannot sit there for hours and hours and listen to him talk um, in those lectures. So to be able to just kind of take it, digest it, and keep, try to take some of the best parts and keep it super simple. Um Three drives into that top inside of a one hour for about a good. Brandon said, I tried to, but would fall asleep and then he would go off on tangents. Yeah. <laughs> Davon, after you spend one year trading ICT, you will understand so much better and you will find that keeping it simple is the best method. 2022 in his best work to date, in my opinion. Yeah, facts. Facts. Uh, Good, a th good thing about him is that he's still a student of the market. Oh, yeah. Should always, we all should always be nonstop. You gotta, you gotta, at, at some point, you gotta enjoy trading. You should, you should enjoy studying and improving and back testing and.
Andrew, do you run into masses of students who don't know how to back test? Uh, sometimes. Um, I even have some people that told me they they refuse to back test, which I was like, what? <laughs> got it. Just got in. Are you in? I am not in. I'm just. I just have this marked up. We already took our trade from the five down to this one. Um, this would be a continuation. Your five points would be there. Right, TP1. Yes. There's your five minute. Sell side target here, but five points there. I'm in the trade. Should I close as soon as you hit five? It's up to you. Uh, close or trail trail your stops to break even. So it's a, it's a free trade or take you know trail your stops to five points. Don't give the money back. Uh, five points equals fifty pips. Uh, if you're trading forex. Which would be this short. Five. Yeah. Yep, 50 pips. S and P to E S. Let's go. Um, I mean, we can, but 
mainly we're mastering and focusing the indices. So we have NQ or ES. You want to become a master of one, become a specialist, learn how it moves at certain times. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So if you have a, if you have a certain pair that you, you want to master, um, uh, and maybe you have some questions or some charts and stuff. You can always post them in the chat. Um, we have we do have a EU and GU chat, um, but I, I'm always open to look at chart work or if you want any tips on things, um, feel free to put it in the main chat. Tag me, and I can look over them for you. Uh, let's see on. And Q, yeah, see, guy said, yeah, the, coming up higher here, ES, coming lower, that's why I'm doing choppy. Uh, so for anyone that doesn't know or might be a little bit newer, um, what we like to do is look at uh, the all the, the futures indices. So like YM1 exclamation point is US 30, the Dow Jones, right? Which is the top 30, 30 uh, companies on the stock market index. And then we have ES, which is S&P. And then we have nasdaq 100 so the three correlate and they kind of move in tandem so we like to watch all three and see what they're doing do they give us some hints on direction and uh stuff like that so but the main one I like to stick to is es every now and then i'll trade nasdaq if it has a clear better setup that es is not giving um, but mainly try to stick to es so Now this wick might have scared someone, right? This rejection. People, traditional retail would think this as rejection candle, but this is actually the liquidity now, right? The algorithm is going to want us probably sweep this low and take it out. I always trade Euro USD at London session. Do you have a good time frame to trade Euro USD? Yep, 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Specifically, 315. Study, go back test that time at 315 over and over, and you'll see why. You'll learn how it moves at that time between three to five. EST. Eastern Standard Time. So everything we trade is set to UTC minus four New York time. So that we're in line with uh, the New York Stock Exchange. Even Euro USD. All right. If we will go back. This is not a good example because we have a lot of news this week, but... Let's see. Later, Davon. Catch you later, bro. Thanks for hopping in today, man. Pleasure having you, bro.
So we have the, the Asian range, right? We respect midnight opening price, bounce up, take Asia's highs, and then we drop down and take Asia lows. So it could have been a seller somewhere in here. Sure, there's something on the 30 second. But so. For for euro, you're gonna to want to have a I think a 15 pip stop and a 15 to 20 pip take profit. You're trading uh this style, so but euro is bullish I think for the week for sure. All right. How my people doing in this trade? need the magnet <laughs> i swear i'm gonna come out with a shirt some sort of magnet shirt there you go there's your five So minute 40, we need this candle. Break even at 20. At 20. Oh, it's up to that's up to you. You have to make that call. Do you want to go break even or do you want do you want the profits? Fully up to you. And down we go. I already closed short early as usual. Although we did have an let's see, although we do did have low time frame. But divs on the mark market cipher B played out. Those up candle was closed before that. Still completed. Move stops to break even. Nice. Need to hold trades longer. Market cyphers. A cool oscillator indicator. Interesting. I see we're bouncing at midnight opening price. <laughs> Time and price is my indicator. Nothing wrong with, I'm saying nothing wrong with indicators. I'm just being silly. But for real, time and price. That's all these lines are. It's not a special like, you know, volume or anything. Time and price. We have midnight price. We have 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Silver Bullet. This is our lunch hour, 12 to 1. 
and then we have our afternoon session from one to the close. I believe this is the London High. Or what is that? So, oh, this is the the opening for the week. Then highs. Let's see. Need to hold the. Oh yeah, price action market structure is still where it's at. Yeah, for sure. This is the kind of week it's going to be, though. See that? <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. So, just got stopped out. Yeah. I mean, I just took one contract from here to there, and I was done. Weeks like this, you got to be very nimble You're in uh, manage trades. FOMC at two today. I'm good with my little one. There you go, Brandon. I say I'm good with my little win. AM had two down the AM had downside 92. That's why I just take my five and dip super consistent and stress free, which is a front. Yeah, exactly. Guy. Five pips and dip, which is front run of gap fill. <laughs> Don't You hit. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, regular trading hours. We had this gap opening, so that could have helped give you your uh, confluence to drop down in here and take this. Each five point hit is 250 on one contract. That's more than most people make at their jobs. Facts, Brandon. Facts. Are there days where you make two five hundred thousand fifteen hundred? Yeah. But you cannot go wrong with a quick quick five points. Five points, one contract. Yep. Once you get your confidence up, then you can add, you can scale up exactly. And you get wins underneath your belt. You create a buffer on your account 
whether it's funded or eval or demo, and then you can start adding more more contracts, like two two contracts for five points. And then your two fifty turns to five hundred because you have the buffer and the room to trade two contracts in there. For example, if you're on a fifty k. Trade one contract to get up to a thousand. And then if you see a good setup, you know, risk 500. If you lose, go back to one contract. <laughs> but, or shoot, maybe you can, you can even wait till, uh, till you have 1500 in there and then risk the 500. Hmm. These look too clean. Brandon said I've got much better. Good, bro. Not saying it has to come down here, but I'm just noting how clean these look. Like, what's this Kindle's low? This kind of as low as 4390.50. And this kind of as low as 4390.50. Come on. See that right up here? The low? Look at the low. 4390.50. We leave this open. You have a bearish and a bullish here. It could use this to bounce and take out these highs, but we'd have to get through this five minute. We do have a slight breaker here with uh, low, high, lower, low, slightly lower than here. We broke through, closed above these. In here. So, could use this candle possibly, but got some highs up here. buy side but that's it for me uh got about a one minute left till the eight o'clock hour so or, well at least here in la but silver bullet hour um, we could get a run above here into the lunch the lunch run i call it um which is this 11 o'clock into lunch so Probably like eleven ten. I can go get breakfast now. And silver pool is over. Facts. I had to learn to treat my paper accounts like real ones and not yellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five contracts, ten contracts. Cool. 
cool. Uh, really good morning this morning. Uh, we had the first entry here for five. You could have caught another five there and been done before it reversed here. Of course, Bevan. Again, you guys have any questions and charts? Uh, I can do my best in a timely manner to answer them and stuff like that. Um, if you want more more uh one on one we have the boot camps and stuff like that but uh yeah let's, tomorrow is thursday right see today is wednesday yeah tomorrow is thursday so we should we'll catch you tomorrow you guys tomorrow morning and uh yeah we'll see if maybe we get anything in the afternoon for the pm session but uh yeah i think we're going to run for these highs Later, guys.